Hi y'all, welcome back to Bean Crazy Custom Creations. I'm Miss Francis. This is going to be like part one of part four of four different clocks. Um, I have like four different ideas. Those clocks are going to be Christmas gifts to my kids and their spouses. Um, I figured that would be a very good thing to do. So, that's what the plan is. Now, I have several, I have several different ideas, but I know that one of my daughter-in-laws um, likes dragons just the same as I do. So, I decided to do this one for her and my son. Uh, and this is going to be hard to see because this is a huge clock. I don't know if I can get it all in the shot. I did rearrange my table and this is not quite... I almost thought about putting my camera um, on one of my ring lights. but oh, There you go. That's better. But it's got the the woman here and then the dragon. Now, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use my Lutz Resin Chrome Powders on some of it. And then the rest of it I may use um, Intense, chameleon, or the Intense Chameleon Powders from there. But right now I'm just, right now I'm just going to cut it color his, try and just color his, um, stomach, the, so I'm going to color this, I may not, I may put you on pause and color it all, I may most, unless you're a new subscriber and you really want to see it, um, most people know how to, how to dust a mold. And that's pretty much what I'm just doing, is dusting the colors in there. I did, however, spend um, some time making glow-in-the-dark numbers for this. Although, you know, I was a little disappointed in the glow-in-the-dark. I thought the... I thought it would all glow pretty good, but the darker colors don't glow as well. So I kind of wished I would have made them all in like a, a yellow green or a yellow or uh, like a blue green. Um, those colors seem to glow a lot better. So I don't know yet. I've already made them. I made them in multiple colors. I've got the sets made up for each of the clocks. One clock will be a a beach or seascape. Um, I've got to get the stuff out for it. Um, one I think will be a floral. It's going to be a. I have some floral rice paper that's really pretty that I think would make a very pretty clock. And these are, like I said, going to be Christmas gifts. Um, I should have been down here earlier in the week, but, you know, I go for a few days without my back bothering me, and then all of a sudden it starts bothering me again. So it's kind of hard to come down here and set. Today is not as bad. I've, you know, taken some Tylenol and I slept on a heating pad all night. So I'm going to try and get through this one. And then, I, of course, tomorrow would be my live. So I definitely have to. And I don't know if I'll do the clocks on the live or not. I haven't decided yet. I mean, I do have some other stuff I need to make, or want to make, anyway. 
So I'm not sure what I'll make. It's one of those where I think about it usually all, all Thursday. And then come Friday morning I know what I'm going to do. So I get my stuff out and get my all my information typed in. And then I get ready to do my life. Thinking I'm gonna do well, let's do that in green too. I kinda kinda wanna do these in green too, but I gotta make sure they're stuck to the mold. This is C Lutz Resin Chrome powders. I am gonna pour it in black. I have uh thanks to Miss Miss Coral found me some glow-in-the-dark uh, clock hands at Walmart, so I've got to get them ordered. I kind of wanted it to glow, and, you know, you just can't really do a pattern in glow. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just make the clock hands and the numbers of the clock glow. And then I'll, I should be okay. Oops, get a little carried away there, Kelly. Gonna have to do some cleanup. Okay. Gotta open up my brush cleaner. I did do a lot of organizing down here earlier in the week. I was tired of having so many cups sitting up here with all different kinds of stuff in it. So... had this little, I don't know what you call it, like a turntable canopy office thing that you put stuff in. So I just made it so it would um, accommodate my brushes and anything else that I wanted to put in it and made room on my table for it and that's where I put it. Now, last time someone said they had a little bit of a hard time hearing me. I, I don't know why I haven't changed microphones. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what was up with that. Maybe. Yes, the volume's turned up all the way. So, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Maybe I was mumbling. Who knows? I do that sometimes. Kind of especially if I'm saying something I really don't want everybody else to hear. <laughs> and I do that sometimes too. So, let's see. I don't... I was kind of thinking of... You know, I like teal... I like a lot of these. I like the rose red. I haven't used the red too much. I think she would really like... I think she would really like purple. I've got the... The stomach of the dragon is green. Um, I might do his horns in a different color. But I'm going to try purple for... Eh, the rest of the dragon's body anyway. Um, his wings may be a different color too. I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as wings. This is pretty intense colors too. So I try and make sure I tap the brush off some because I don't want to I don't want to make a mess. Um, this, I think, is his body. I'm not really getting what I want to get out of there. I don't want big clumps, but I need to at least get some on my brush here. Try and spread it around. Um, I don't know. I've done this before. 
I've done the stencils before. I kind of thought that would make kind of a cool clock. Um, like I said, I know she, I know she likes dragons because we went to the Renaissance Festival and there's one little place where they have different dragon statues and stuff and uh, we both got dragons when we were there so I know she likes them. I'm trying to hold these really thin pieces down so I don't go under them. I mean, because it would be pretty easy. They don't, I was trying to find one, a stencil that would go around the nub of the clock. Because I thought that would be a better idea than me. I didn't want to cut a hole in the stencil. So I thought that would be a better idea. I'm getting a gob. I'm sorry my hand's in your way here. I'm getting too much on my brush there, and I don't really want to do that. And I'm trying to hold this down so the color doesn't go underneath. Because I don't, I don't think I'm doing the wings in the same thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the wings in a different color. Maybe even the horns, too. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a gold or silver or maybe even a holographic. That's what I'm thinking. I might do a holographic instead. On the... I just thought this would make a kind of cool looking clock. We'll see. Not sure yet whether I want to pour it in with the black background though. Not really sure about that. Oh. Okay, so I don't want his, this is his leg, and do it in purple. And hopefully that will I'm not sure down this part if that's part of her dress or if it's part of the dragon, like his claws. I'm not sure which. I'm thinking it's his claws, so we'll probably color that maybe in a in the holographic silver. Okay. Now let's see. That is part of his tail. This is part of his body too. Trying not to get so much out of there. I don't want to waste it. Also trying to hold these little thin pieces down. I tried all my other dragons. They just didn't. 
I didn't want to cut them up because of the nub in the center. I did not want to cut my other dragons up. So I just, I'm like, well, let me find one that'll go around the nub and that's the one I'll use. So this one went around there well enough. So that's the one I chose. I'm sorry. I'm trying to hold this down so I don't get a bunch of color underneath. Kind of hard. They're really thin pieces. And it wouldn't be much to, I'm sure it wouldn't be much to lift them up. But try not to. Okay, what is that? That is his... I'm going to say that's, that's his tail. I kind of want his tail to be the same color. I mean, maybe not the end of his tail. I might... The little horns on his tail, I may not do it that way, but I do want his tail to be the same color as the rest. I'm sorry, but you know, I don't see you sitting in my way. Okay, I'm gonna have to have a talk with the with them two, really. Um, I mean, I told them this was not gonna be their forever home, but and I know Christmas is coming up, and they got kids, and I'm trying to be pretty understanding about that. But we'll see. Um, Miss Jeannie probably won't be back till mm, we talked. I think it'll be March. Dang it. Piece of hair. March or April as soon as it as soon as it gets warm. Darn it, I forgot to tell her the other day when I was talking to her that she left her winter coat here. Let's see if she wants me to send it to her. I'm sure she got another winter coat to use, but. All right, that's probably his other. I want to say that's probably his other foot, I think. I don't know. Yeah. We're about to sit down and have a nice talk, which they're not going to like, but hey. Okay, um, I think that'll be purple too, and I'll just do the little thin part in the I'm not getting up there. I'm trying to, but I'm trying not to get too much. Because I didn't want that part to be purple. Uh, I 
All right, we're going to do, I'm going to do part of this in purple. I'm going to try and leave those points and do those, some of those in uh, the holographic silver. So I'm going to try and just do along here. Yeah, um, I don't know. I'm beginning to, actually I'm beginning to take, feel like I'm being taken advantage of, really, honestly. If you want to know the truth, yeah. Don't think they're saving any money. I'm pretty sure she knew I wouldn't make her leave during the holidays because that's just not me. I realize they both have kids and wouldn't do that. But, but uh, I'm not. I'm starting to feel like the, I'm being taken advantage of. So. That's, uh, that's enough for me. Okay. I'm going to get, uh, I don't know. I think I put my prism hollow up the other day, and I'm not sure where I put it. I might have dumped it in here. I just need some. I think there's still some holographic powder in there. I know I got a new, new thing of it, but I got extra fine here, and that'll work for what I want to use it for. All right, clean my brush, put the purple up. I'm pretty sure I'm done with that because I'm not going to do his wings in purple. Um, I do kind of want to do the... I might have to get a mica brush out for that, but I'm going to try the regular brush first and see if it works. So we're going to do the end of this tail in the holographic. I'm really try and burnish it in. And his, let's do his toes. I didn't do his others in holographic, but they were small, so. Trying to hold this down. I'm sorry if I'm blocking you. Trying to hold this down and make sure that I, it's not going under it. It's kind of like horns on his back. Okay, get the horns on his head. I don't know how I'm going to color her yet. I'm going to find some color that I can use 
on our face that'll look flesh color after I pour the black, which I don't know. I don't know. I know the black will make the chrome pop better. I do. I, I know that. But Maybe I should have done the big horns of his wings differently. I'm trying to color that nib a little bit too, so it kind of blends in a little bit with the rest of the dragon. Plus I'm trying to hold these. I'm trying to hold this little piece down on this side. Trying to, but it's right, right across that little nib there. If I can get my finger down to hold it on this side till I get that colored. And then I'll hold it down on this side. Hoping this works. I don't know if I should have colored those a different color or not. And those little thin pieces are hard to keep in place, but I need those. I think I need the lines to be there. I don't know. I may, when I pull it off, I may just go over those lines with something else. Like, I don't know. Maybe bronze or gold or something for the lines in his wings. I don't know yet. We'll see. And I didn't do those at the top. I'm just not sure whether I want them to be holographic or not. I may just wipe them off and color them green. Like the stomach of the dragon. Because I do like the way the green. I don't know. It's a, it's kind of like a work in progress. I'll see. I mean, if, if I don't like the way it turns out, then I'll just have to make it again. I'm not sure how I'm... I'm probably going to have to do a top coat anyway. Because I have to lay the numbers out. So I will probably... Find something to set it up on and um, use 
or use some liquid latex or something on the back of it tape something because I want to I do want to get the numbers stuck down and I want to make sure they won't be falling off and I have an idea well you know with my little skull heads I've made I think they would make a pretty cool clock and I guess if you moved them all the way like Miss April said if you moved them all the way to the very edge then the hands probably wouldn't hit them because they're they're kind of deep so I'm thinking that you know unless you moved them the hands would probably hit them And I got, oh, man, I'm telling you, I'm going to, I got lots of blankets. I think I'm, I'm going to wash up all those blankets I have down here and I'm going to donate a bunch of them because I, how many blankets does one person need? I mean, I have blankets on every, on all the beds I had, so certain blankets. Now, I have, uh. My grandson who passed, I have his quilt that I made him on the little day bed in the small bedroom. Now, because um, their kids was going to sleep in that room, I decided to um, move his quilt off and put a different blanket on there. Because I did not want his quilt getting that I made him get ruined I don't think I, I honestly don't think I could take it if it did I'd, that'd be something that would just literally set me off for sure okay so I I don't know I think I want his horns to be a different color I don't want the I don't think I want the holographic in the horns. No, I don't. So, I'm going to clean that out. I'm going to try and see if I can find something that will come close to flesh color for the girl's face and hand. Oops. Come on, okay. Don't wipe it out of somewhere else. I would want to make them green. I think so. Okay. Um, yeah. Her hands. I just don't know what I got up there. have to look and see. I really don't think I have any. I mean, I have, what's it called? Um, some mica powder from Lutz Resin called Seashell, which is kind of like an off, like an off-white. Uh, before I mixed did I mix with that? Because I had some mix. I'm just not sure where I put it. Might have dumped it the other day when I was cleaning my mess up down here. I don't know. Might have to look and see what I got. But I think I'm going to go ahead. And I did get a little purple off of there. Dark on it. I 
I do kind of like the chrome color here. We'll see. I just don't know how chrome it's going to be if I don't. If I uh, take it off. Or if I don't do it in black. I don't know how chrome it will be. All right, so let's get the girl, I don't know, thinking maybe I should do these down here in green also. Sorry, I'm changing my mind midstream here. I do like the green. So, I think I'll make the end of his tail. I might have to go back over my purple a little bit. Let it dry for a minute. And then I will go over those with green. I don't know what to put the dry lights on. Because if you don't dry it, I don't think it will stick very well. Do all this stuff to us. I keep trying to tap my brush off because I don't want to make a mess with it. It doesn't seem to be okay. Yeah, it goes everywhere. Trying to clean it up so I don't waste it. I just kind of wanted it to be really, really chrome, but not wasting it. Okay. All right, let me clean my brush. And I got some purple that I messed up already that I need to fix. And I need to figure out a flesh color here. Um, what did I just do with Okay. You are just, I know I just, just had that brush. Get rid of purple now. Because I got a couple spots I need to fix. That spot. Oh, here we go. One, one, one. Yeah, now I got green over there. That I don't know how I did. <laughs> want green in there. Okay, so, I 
let's figure out what we're going to do for her clothing because I'm going to have to wipe her up now because she's got green underneath. So I might clean that up somehow. Do it without making a mess, though. Okay, so not sure. Let me pause you while I try and see if I can find some sort of flesh tone. Okay, so what I ended up doing for the fl as close to the flesh tone as I could come was. I used um, Let's Resin Mica Powder Seashell. I just a couple little taps of the side with the holes in it. Then I used uh, Let's Resin Mica Powder Brown. Just a couple little taps. And Let's Resin Mica Powder Pink. And I don't know if my camera's still on. It may still be on Zoom. Who knows? Yep, it was. No wonder I couldn't get everybody in there. Okay. I think that made a pretty close flesh color. Now, going to color her crown in... A gold, if I can find one. Um, yeah, I'd like her hair to be. Um, I need to find like a little brown of some sort for her hair. I might just use that brown right there. No, no we'll do her hair in. Uh, maybe we'll do her hair in maple. All right, there's a crown. Maple's a pretty color out of the intense. I do like the maple color. Yeah, we'll do our hair in the maple. I hate that this always has, it's always all around the jar here. And usually end up wasting it. I try not to, but because it's so, it's not exactly cheap. And I, I haven't found any other intense colors that I like. Um, I think I'll have to look for some, really. I kind of like the maple color, really, for her hair. I do. Okay. Now. The rest of that looks like her... It says that's her clothing. And I don't... Let's do it in like a does that have a magenta in it or is it a rose red? A pink, a holographic pink. Um there's a blue which looks like a teal. Kinda like that color too, really. Dark magenta. I think I use dark magenta. 
See, I don't really want it to be purple, though. I don't... No, I can't do that. I don't want it to be purple. Mm -mm. Nope. No purple. Um, let's do the holographic pink. I haven't used it yet. Oh. Kind of went everywhere. Rubbing it in. I kind of like the holographic pink there. It's a little darker pink, but I don't care about that. Oh, that just wants to. If I hold one end up down, the other end wants to pop up. Okay, so I'll hold that down, then I have to go up here and hold this down. Wished I had a uh, the gold. See, I'm trying to get this down all the way as close as I can get it. I don't know if I can get it all the way down in there. I'm trying. It'll come up on the corner, I'm sure, of the clock. That's okay. Not really worried about that. Yeah, I am making a mess, that's for sure. Alrighty, now, if I had a thin marker, I probably would go over the thin lines. Just don't think I have one that's got a thin enough tip that would work. Alright, so here, let's try and lift this off of here without making any big mess. Come on, come on. I will wipe that off before I put it back in the case. I really would like to try and define those lines. I just don't know what I would use that I could use to get in between those lines. I think the black will define them somewhat. I could use a little bit of alcohol and do a little bit of cleanup on the lines. Because I kind of want them. I 
I kind of want them to be there. Get a little bit of black between it. And yeah, there's a line. There's a line. Let's see here. And that goes up to a point, but I don't. Darn it. I hate to see. Yeah, I think I got that. I mean, I know it goes up to a little bit more of a point, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to hassle with it. I'm just going to try and get some of the lines. Because if I pour it in black, then I don't have to. In between there will be black. And that's what I, I like about that, doing it in black. I'm just trying to make sure I had some sort of lines where they were. I don't they don't have to be perfect. No, they don't have to be perfect. Just some lines for the black to show through. crazy here. Okay. Um, I do kind of, yeah, I kind of don't like the way that one went, really. And it might be easier to just use this. I need a little bit more of a point on that one. I guess I didn't hold it down enough. that out just in case I mess that up because I kind of wanted to get a little bit of lines between there too. I don't want to go crazy but I do want some lines between there. Kind of hard to see them. guess if I would have made it a little darker it would have been a little easier to see. They're not very, problem is they're not very thick lines. So I don't, I don't want to go crazy on them. Guys, if I'm not careful, 
I had some pretty I had some pretty shaky lines here. <laughs> don't want to do that really. I don't. Um doesn't have to be really doesn't have to be real defined it just so you can see the black lines through through this I mean there should have been a line there anyway And I don't know if it's because it's going around that nib. I will probably just go there. That'll do. Okay, so let's uh, just try and clean this out a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. I'll wipe it up just a little bit. And we will oh, you know what? I never I never paid attention to how much I need to write on the back of this mold how much it takes cuz it's a it's a pretty big ram mold. It's going to it's going to take a, a bit. trying to do is just get any of those colors that I might have gotten scattered wiped off of there. I mean I see some powder that I thought I thought I shook it all off but I guess not. stuck on there pretty good but you know it is it's there um i will be back when i have some dang it i guess i'm gonna do it in black i don't really want to but i will do it in black i may do some of the others in white i don't know but i'm gonna do this one in black I have to get my sticks ready because you never know. Um, I don't know that the table is, I don't know that the table is level. So, uh, it should be, but I don't have a leveling board on here because this mold is too big to fit on a leveling board. So, it's going to have to go Just like that. Just trying to wipe up any of my messes here on my new silicone mat that I got off of Amazon. Okay, I will get the black mixed. I'll get the black mixed up and I'll be back. Okay, I pumped out six ounces of A, six ounces of B on the black SRC um, polyurethane now. And I put, let me get you down, I put sticks all the way around at least for the moment because I'm not, I'm not sure my table's level and I don't want... I don't want it to start running out. I got some extra molds over here just in case. I need some. Because I might. I don't. It's been 
it's been a while and I tried to go back and watch my video and I did it differently in the Elvis clock when I did it because I poured um, some epoxy in there first and set the pennies and stuff in there and let it cure first so I don't know how much this mold will take so I thought I'd just do this and hopefully I'll come out if I come out with extras I'll be okay because I got some molds over here these cups out of my way. Now it's starting to get a little warm. I hope I have it mixed well. So we're going to see. Ooh. Let's get it everywhere, okay? Seems like I make a big mess every time. We're going to see. Hopefully this will come out level. I don't know. I'm worried about it. Really, I am. Worried about it coming out level. And I was afraid that that wouldn't be enough. Doggone it. Yeah, I was worried about it being enough. Well, I want to make sure I'm, I've got it as level as I can get it before I mix any more up. Because I will be mixing some more. Okay. <coughs> okay. Mm. Come on. Get over there. I at least want you to be halfway level before I pour another coat on you. I want to have all the spots filled if I can without scratching my design, which this is not working here. Come on. Darn it. Hope I didn't just scratch up my design. I might have, who knows. So 12 ounces was not enough. I will make up another 12, I think, and see if I can. Yeah, I don't know that that's going to work now. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna move now. Let me get let me get some more mixed up. I'll be back. All right, so I have another twelve ounces mixed up. I'm hoping that it don't overfill it. In some spots, it looks like it's pretty close to the top. Some spots, it does not. Down here towards the bottom. I don't know, and I don't want to cover my nib up too much because then I'll have to drill it out. Not that I can't drill it out. If I have to, I will. But down here, I kind of made a mess. I kind of want it to be, I want it to be level. That's what I wanted. Let's just put it that way. So I think that I better stop. Let's see what I got here. 
I need to make a little train. Pour me some stars. I got one more that needs to be finished done. Let me just use what's left. Okay. You weren't supposed to do that. Yeah, I don't have enough for that one. That one I over poured. And I did over pour the train a little bit, but I need to squidgy it anyway. Leave that on the top. I'll clean the outside up when I'm done. Okay, so I do got some bubbles there. I don't know if I can, but hopefully they're just all on the back. I don't know if you can. Don't know if you can hit that with uh, alcohol or lighter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shot. It may work. It may not. I'd rather do it that way than to hit it with the lighter and catch something on fire. Yeah, I'm being a mess. I need to. Clean this mat up too, because it's looking pretty sad. But it's kept my other mat clean, so. And thanks to Mr. Allen and Miss Jeannie, I have plenty of alcohol wipes to clean my hands with if I need to. And I do need to wipe my cups out. Before it sets in there. I meant to bring down some more paper towels and I forgot. So I'm going to have to bring me some more down. Get the black cup wiped out first. Yeah, that those pumps work okay, but they still want to, they still want to leak, I don't know, on that SRC, so I just have to keep an eye on them and try and wipe them off and get them as clean as, keep them as clean as I can. Um, I reuse my little cups, I wipe them out. I throw the big cups away. I'm not going to try and wipe that black out of there. I just think it'd be too much. So I use clean paper towels and wipe the cups, the little cups out so I can reuse them. But I need to bring me some more paper towels down and pair them up, set and pair them up. It's okay, I got, ain't like I ain't got plenty of cups to do, or uh, clocks to do, because I do. And I actually need to, well, tomorrow I need to go to the post office, because I need, I got some boxes I need to send out. I need to get my grandson's packed up and get his sent out so I can make sure that it is there plenty of time for his birthday so he can get his little minion crocs that I bought him. So, yeah, it kind of left a funky look on the back. As long as it's on the back of the clock, I don't 
I don't really care. No, no not really. Back of the clock makes no difference to me. No one's really going to see the back of it that well. So I'm going to put a hanger on the back. Now, my numbers are the next thing. Not real sure. I think I'm probably going to have to pour a clear coat over the top. I got my numbers done. Here's my numbers. They're all in different colors to go on the front. Um, the clock mechanisms I have, the hands I, however, do not have yet because I want to I hope this is level. I'm not going to say it is. Yeah, I'm going to take these sticks out now. It don't really matter. I don't think it's going to run anywhere now. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know that I'll get the other clock started today, but I might. I might get that video started today. Probably won't get these up till after Friday, though. Because I have my Friday Night Live, which... Not real sure what we're doing yet. I have no clue. Yet. I mean, I have lots of molds we could be doing. And I do need to make some more pendants. Which, I've made pendants a lot. I don't really want to do pendants. So, I don't know. I may get a clock prepared. And then finish it on Friday's live. Or I might do a set of coasters. I haven't done coasters in a while. And I'm sure Miss Jeannie wouldn't mind. She usually gets all my coasters. I got a set I've been wanting to do. But I have to, in order to do them the way I've seen Red Sea Liz do hers, I'm going to have to paint between them with some, I got some patio uh, gold and make them look kind of like stained glass and color them in and then pour a clear, pour a coat over them. So... That could be, that could be what the next one will be. That could be what Friday will be. I have to wait and see. I've done quite a bit of cleaning down here to try and minimize my mess. Because I have lots of mess here. That's pretty warm. Let's hope it turns out good. Hope so. I hope so. Um, I don't know. I'd rather have to get up. I have to go get those out. Okay. I'll be back when it's ready to unmold. And we will. I'll figure out what I'm going to do as far as the coat on the front of it. All right, it, it's still warm, but I really want to see how it turned out. Let's turn it over. I want to get rid of that. I got to do it again. There you go. There's the first part of it done. I like it. I like it. I think she will too. I think she'll like it too. Okay, so now what I have. 
And I may cover the back of it with some tape or something because I don't want it to run over. I would just glue the numbers on, but I don't. And I got to get my ruler out. I was going to stick them in there. See, now that's kind of bowed there at the top. That's weird. That's weird. It is kind of bowed there. That's weird. Doggone it. Okay, so then. Dang, come on, Kay. I might have to get my, my ruler out. And measure them and make sure I got them in the right spot. He's needily trimmed too. Scoot them down towards the edge more so they're not covering my, out towards the edge, so they're not covering what my design. That one's got, I mean, it's kind of bowed right there. I don't know why, but it is. The seven's going to be up in there whether I want it to be or not. And probably the eight too. Because I can't move them. I could move them if I turned them that way, which mm, I really don't want to. That's kind of kind of bowed. I don't it's right there in that spot. God bless it. I don't know why. I do kind of like the numbers. I just don't know how I want to. I kind of want to get them towards the edge though. if I want to turn them sideways like this because it doesn't work too well really I don't like them like that and I can turn them right to the edge I do have, I haven't figured out what, I mean, I thought about just going and getting some glow in the dark and painting the hands, because I do have some black hands that, I got some long black hands there. Those, most of those in there are shorter hands. More 
hands. There's a black card, so black. I like the decorative ones. I do. I just don't know that those will be long enough. Really. I like the longer hands since I'm going to, it's such a big clock. All is in very short. And those are the longer ones, and I think they're probably going to have to be, yeah, I think they're going to have to be Either spray painted with some glow in the dark paint. There is a decorative pair in there. But I don't think they're. Yeah, those are pretty long. Um, this one doesn't come with the second hand, though. Although I like those. I would like them better if they were glow in the dark. But I have a feeling I can make them glow in the dark. I have red ones too. There's some red hands. I don't know that I like the red ones. They're not very big. There's another pair of decorative. They're pretty short. I'm just looking at the longer ones. And I may have to paint them silver first and then paint them in the glow in the dark. And I got to get my numbers on here first. So I got to get them measured the way I want them to be. Get them on there the way they should be. Make sure my 12 and my 6 is where they should be, and my 9 and my 3, and then figure out how I want the, I mean, the others are turning sideways, the 10 and the 11, uh, 10 and 11, so I don't know, I may turn these kind of a sideways too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's. Not exactly where it should be. I like them. I like the clock. I will. Well, when I. When I figure out how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to get them stuck down, then I will be back. Because I, I don't know yet whether I want to use E6000 or if I just want to pour a clear coat over the top of it. So I'll be back when I figure it out. Okay, I decided to stick the numbers down first. And actually... I think I might have already screwed up here. No, that's where the picture is. Okay. I thought I'd screwed up. Okay. I've got six stuck down. And I measured, so... I just need to get the 12 stuck evenly. And what I was doing was... Scuffing up the back of the numbers with this little, with this little tool, this little trimmy board tool. Scuffing up the back of the numbers and then scuffing up the cloth where I'm sticking them down. Because I still might, I still might pull, pour a clear coat over the top. Just to make sure the numbers are 
them to stay where I want them to stay. But I don't want to yeah, I got a piece there that I need to get off. I want them to stay where I put them. Now, let me get a rag here. One of my soft rags so I can make sure I don't have hay or anything else stuck in. need to try and scuff this up a little bit where they're going to go. Yeah, I'm just scuffing it. So they have something to really oops they tear it away there, okay. So they had something to stick to. I was really trying to keep it under the numbers, really. And keep my glue from going everywhere. hope I scuffed in the right place. They're not going to be a perfect clock. I just don't want to have glue stuck everywhere. And I know how that glue comes out. Going up a little higher with my scuff in here. Did not. Might try using one of these micro brushes to put the glue on there. Then that way I won't be making such a mess. Figure if I at least if I get them stuck in the right spots where I want them, then I won't have to worry about they'll be stuck, and I won't have to worry about the they're not. It's not gonna be perfect. It's a handmade clock. And I got a little dip going there for some weird reason. So, I don't know. Probably had something to do with the... the heck is that? Yeah, I'm sure it had something to do with the heat. But I don't know why it would... Keep from getting so much glue on there, really. I don't want to wipe it on my soft rag. Dang it. Yeah, I didn't do such a hot job there. Okay. I may just have to go back and try and clean it after it's after it's dry. Alright. Looks to me like the 6 and the 12 are right where they should be now. I 
wish I had a shorter ruler. I do, I just don't know where it's at. I have a plastic one, but I can't seem to figure out where the heck I put it from the last time I used it. I do want it to be darn it. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. Alright, I have um, 80 mil made up of just a regular epoxy. Now I put some tape in that. I gotta be real careful or I'll have to drill that hole out. But if I'm careful enough, this may be too much, but I'm gonna try and be really careful about it and see if I can do this without filling that hole up. I put some tape in the center of it and I got tape around the edge because it's kind of got a little curb going to the top of it. Could have been the fact that I had sticks under all that. So I don't know. Because I didn't have that problem the last time I used that mold. So I don't know what happened. But I'm trying to get this stirred. So I got the numbers glued down. Approximately, I mean as close as I could get them to where they should be. Um, I measured and put them as close as I could get them. So, I'm going to coat the top of it so the numbers will stay on. They won't be able to fall off in case they come unglued, which could happen. I'll coat the top of it with some epoxy, let it set up, and then I'll take pictures of it. Um, and then I got two more, or three more to make. So, like I said, one's going to be a beach theme. I think I'm going to use some rice paper on the other two, maybe. granddaughter that likes beach theme stuff so I figured I would make her try and make her a beach theme clock mixed up no I'm not wearing please always wear your protection when you're mixing epoxy I I didn't dig it out I, <laughs> I just got out of the shower and I was trying to go ahead and get this coat on here because I got a got a few things I need to do to my stuff I'm gonna make tomorrow for my lives, so I came down to get that stuff done. And I thought, oh well, let me go ahead and get this done. So I'm gonna try. We're gonna see how it works. I got some micro bubbles, but I don't see any. I don't see any strands there, just micro bubbles. I fully expect it to run over. That's the reason why I had tape on there. gonna pull on a little at a time because I kind of wanna kind of want to move it towards the edge get 
these up out of my way. I don't know if I want to use my hands or if I just want to use my stick to move it. I fully expect some of it. Like I said, I fully expect it to run over. So, I mean, that's not. I mean, I may not have even mixed up enough, really. We'll see. We'll see. Just trying to make it so it will come to the edge. I'm chasing dragons. Dragons got my hands. I'll rob and people, but I'm an honest man. Hello? Hello? Um, no one. Sorry. Got a phone call. Right in the middle of this live. I should have just turned. Should have turned my ringer off. Somebody telling me I, he's going to come out and get on my roof and check my roof and I said oh no you're not <laughs> I love the way they just tell you well we're going to be out there and we'll be on your roof checking your roof um, unless you're in, in my entrance uh, flame adjuster then you are not getting on my roof that's not happening Okay, yeah, I already got it dripping off here. I still don't think I made up enough. I was hoping that I could get it to... I do want to make sure I cover these numbers as much as I can. Because I don't want them... I do not want them coming off. Go back the other way. Go back the other way. Come on. Come on, stop. I'm going to get it to the edge and get the number covered. I don't really want it going over the edge, although, like I said, I do have it taped for a reason. I didn't want to. I expected a li a few drips that I expected because I knew it was going to drip somewhat. But I wasn't expecting that many drips. I may not have mixed enough up, really. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Trying to...
Yeah, it's gonna run off some. I got a, I got a mat underneath it. So whatever runs off runs off. I was just trying to get the numbers covered so they wouldn't come off. I'll do a little flattening out of it once I get it all of where I want it. And then I will get my heat gun and try and deal with any bubbles that I happen to have. Or any fish eyes that I can take care of. Yeah, I got a drip going up here. Kind of figured I would have a drip in some spots because it's kind of, I don't know why it's not flat like it should be, but it's not. So, scooping them as much as I can scoop them off be careful so I don't get stuff all over my Betty Boop pajamas here because yes I am wearing my pajamas I went upstairs and had a long hot shower while no one else was here but me which was great. <laughs> really? It really was. It was a great shower. Come on, stop trying to run off. I mean, I know I got you. I got a mat under you, but really trying not to make you run off like that. In the center, I just kind of want it, I don't want it, I really don't need it thick in the center, I just kind of want to bring it over to the center, and that's it. Go around it, and that's all the further I want to go, I don't want go crazy about that because it's going to be covered for the most part but I gotta finish getting these numbers covered God bless running right off of there get your hair out of the way Kay
just trying to do like real gently around that center because I I will drill it out if I have to that's not that big a deal but I, if I don't have to I, I don't want to and I will probably take my heat gun and plug it up and kind of blow this around make sure because I don't want I kind of want it smoothed out. I don't want a bunch of, I don't want any fish eyes anywhere. That's okay. Whatever's dripping over, dripping over. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Can scoop it back up, put it back on then. Okay. All right. We're going to. Oops. I still have a little bit more. I don't want to go crazy with it, though. Alright. I think what I'm going to do right now is get my heat gun out, get rid of all these bubbles, and see if I can get it to level out. If I can remember where I put the dang thing. Because I need to plug my heat gun back in. Yeah, I might have to pour a little more on that on the fog. I forgot my hair tie as usual. Just trying to keep my hair out of my face. I do need some more right around the fog here. I don't know what happened there. Just maybe I didn't get enough over there. Decided to three. Just 
and then I could get it off, but here's where it went. Okay. Let's see. Oh, please, dude. I was sitting up there with you until just a few minutes ago, and, and now you're going to start. Blow this out some. call that good and I'll be back in the morning to check it and clean it up I don't 
don't know that I'll get to put any hardware on it unless I unless I go to Walmart and get me some glow in the dark hardware or get me some glow in the dark paint cuz I really want I really want the hands to glow too so for now um, oh, I see a fish eye, and I don't want that, and of course I took my gloves off. worried about the center of it fish I am because if it does it does I kind of would like the rest of it to stay like it is and of course you know <laughs> it's running everywhere a bunch up here. A whole bunch. I kind of knew it was going to, that would be the end that it would do it on because that's the end that's kind of rounded for some weird reason. where it's going to run as long as my numbers are covered it isn't going to be a perfect clock but it's a gift alright I'll see y'all tomorrow okay here's the finished clock I put a clear coat over it to cover all the numbers I, I don't have the hardware on it yet, and I probably won't until I figure out what I'm going to do about the... Uh, I, wanna, I want glow-in-the-dark hands. So, um, I probably won't put anything on it till I get that for sure. But this is how it turned out. That's the first one. So, hope you like that one. There's going to be more to come. I haven't started on the other because I'm working, right now I'm working on my stuff for my live. So, okay. Um, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> Didn't realize I didn't have my bottom teeth in, and I don't do videos without my teeth in. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, uh, Wanda's Plus Creations, Stacy underscore the Crafty Cat, Rez C. Liz, India Brady Art, Art by me, Andrew Walker, Billy Holman Creations, Cosmic Carol's Creations, at Artsy Doodles One, My Love of Crafts, Butch's Resin Creations, Dragons and Dresses Craftsortium, Created with Wingless Angels, TLC's Handmade Hayloft, Rosanian's Crafting Corner, Coral Marine's Resin Art, Marvelous Artsy, Crafting with Carla, Cynthia's Crafts and More, Amy's Resin Corner, Sam I Am Resin Crafts, K 
Cat Johnson, Mini Scenes GB, Easel Does It Studio, Martha's Craft Room, Ruby's Resin Studio, Custom Created Handmade Crafts, Mama's Hyphen Madhouse Hyphen Creations, Clear Creations, The Blue Elephant Gifts, Creepy Crafts, Gert Creates, Patricia's Crafting Corner, June's Sunshine Crafts, Reb Critter, Bright Star Creative, Art Resin, The Resiner's Poorhouse, and Lori, a.k.a. Me Midwest Meemaw. Now, that's all I have right now on my list. And I'm getting ready for my Friday Live. So I'll see y'all later.